Ni hao, Bear's Brothers Movies here, and I've been, uh, I've been learning Chinese, and I was excited to see this movie. Uh, for obvious reasons, not just because Matt Damon's in it. it. Has China in it, and the Great Wall of China. And it's got monsters that are kind of like lizards, but they're not. They're better. And they have big eyes that you can shoot them at and then they die, but they work like Hive and Matt Damon and the guy from Game of Thrones uh, who died a few seasons ago uh, were traveling uh, from, I don't know, where, somewhere in Europe. From the east. Somewhere North in Europe, west. from the west to the east, to China, in search of uh, black the powder. mythical, mythical, mythical black, black powder. powder. Uh, that uh, what they ended up with is a fight they didn't expect honor uh, and along the way they were chased by various tribes simply because they were going through their territories and whatnot they barely survived it was a big group and it ended up just two of cool. them surviving and they come up to the Great Wall uh, they didn't expect it it just appeared out of nowhere not magic together with a huge army they almost. They had him at crosshairs. And so. from there they saw the goblin. Oh, I mean William Dafoe. Sorry, I uh, got lost my train of thought there for a second. Uh, uh, but uh, yeah, William Dafoe. Another Westerner who came to China, China looking for, for the, the mythical, mythical black God. powder. He came there 25 years prior and never left. Found what he's looking for. Found a lot. But never of, left. Yeah, never left. Uh, not because he didn't want to. But he was because of the reason why the Great Wall was there in the first place. Because China is protecting the world from the evil lizards, lizard mon lizard like monsters who came into our world many, many years ago. And um, the only thing that stopped. As a them, result of a man's greed. Yeah, pretty much. And um, the only thing that's stopping them is the Great Wall of China. And uh, one thing that uh, immediately got my attention in this movie was the music, the score was great. Uh, starts at the very beginning, it doesn't let you go throughout the movie. And the movie is just fun, entertaining, it draws you in. And um, it's very... Was this a Chinese movie or was it a Hollywood movie? Uh, I mean it was both, but it was got both. more of a saying it. I don't know, but it was a Hollywood movie with Chinese production, I think. To me, this is a. It's a great. Only, only thing that distinguishes this movie from other class. One thing China is good at is making making war movies. If you did not watch Chinese war movies, you have no idea what you're missing. Uh, most of them came out after 2000, but to me, they're so classic. I can watch them anytime. Only thing that separates Grey Wall from these, such as uh, gotta pick them up here. So the Warlord. Red, Cl Red Cliff is a classic. What? The Lost Bladesmen, Assassins, Bodyguards and Assassins, 14 Blades. Grey Wall is right there with them and only distinction is this one has Matt Damon in it. Because for a while, for the last, I don't know, 10, 15 years, 17 years, Chinese war movies have been greatly underappreciated. I, I think this was yeah. one of the attempt to get them into a spotlight. Most of them are similar, but they are. There's nothing like them in Hollywood. Hollywood does not make movies like this. I'll basically I'll either they that. don't want to finance it or they don't think they can get enough money out of it. But China makes great war movies. We'll see how uh, the Great Wall does in the. American box office. So far I don't think it did very well but um, or at least not as well as uh, they expected but you can look at that. But uh, The Great Wall is a nice movie, very colorful, uh, plot is great, uh, there is no mushy mushy love story, there is no a white man came and into China and uh, you know Westerner came into China in order to save them like some people would say in uh, The Last Samurai or something like that. No, it's much more different than that. Yes, Matt Damon's character helps a lot, but uh, he's not... 
I mean, he's not there, I don't know, uh, an uh, unexpected messiah, so to speak. No, and he's a guy who knows how to kill stuff, so and he, he's good at it. Yeah, and Matt Damon also has some kind of an accent, which he pulls off really well, which he also pulls works. Him, uh, it pulls him, kind of puts him on the British Isles. British Isles, and he does it very well. I mean, you wouldn't even, they could have literally put anybody else in there, and you wouldn't even know you were watching a Hollywood-Chinese hybrid. And what Matt Damon does is only adds like, okay, I know Matt Damon's in this movie, but this movie is so great on all accounts that I don't even notice it's Matt Damon doing it. He's so good. It's not that he stands out, but he actually fits in. Definitely. He doesn't extinguish the movie any more than it already is, but he ties into the whole story. And the Chinese crew also does a great job. The way I don't know who did what on this movie. But the choreography, uh, the the cinematography, the, the CGI, the fight scenes, amazing. Uh, the actress uh, Tian Jian uh, or Tian Jian, uh, whatever her name is, uh, Tian Jin. Uh, she was definitely she stood out to me. She stood out, oh, and not just because she's beautiful. That blue, that blue armor uh, makes the whole blue squadron stand out and it's amazing to watch them fight as well like bungee cords before before there were bungee cords and there was like one thing that bugged me in the movie but I said you know what this is a fantasy movie I'm just gonna let it slide and it's that one thing when Matt Damon said that he can use that magnet to make a compass out of it and we all know Chinese not only invented the gunpowder or black powder. They invented the compass too. But so, it fits into the story. So it's a fantasy yeah. flick. So that's why you, I let. You know. That's the only reason why I let that one slide. But <laughs> don't try to see whether it's historically correct. Whether the no, whole no, thing I makes mean, sense. No, the architecture, the Great Wall is historically correct. Oh, no, no. But it's uh, by all accounts, it's a fantasy movie. I doubt there was bungee jumping cords that long ago. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. I was wrong before. You never know with the Chinese. Uh, and you never know with stuff that you know nothing about, except uh, that they can get you killed sometime or break your neck. But uh, overall, it's a great, fun movie. And uh, definitely, I'm gonna be watching more Chinese movies, and just, not just because I'm learning. So Chinese. here's the thing: for years, and I really mean for years, I've been trying to get this guy to actually watch Chinese war movies, and I, I keep only, telling him, yeah. this stuff is still good to be true. I mean, the stuff that Chinese are making, it doesn't get into so Hollywood, far, so nobody so talks far, about it. Yeah. But then, they're amazing movies. So far, I only accepted it took Jackie Chan. It took so Matt Damon to actually get him there I love to Matt actually Damon. watch. Anybody who a doesn't Chinese like movie. Matt Damon, they I don't know what's wrong with those people, but Matt Damon is awesome. And he'll always Agreed. be the rainmaker to me. And that will always be my favorite Matt Damon movie. Uh, this one may just take the cake almost. So It's that good. It's entertaining. It's fun. The story is there. Uh, and I want to go to pay, China. No, don't more don't than pay attention too. whether the lizards are they're alien like or whether they're ugly enough. Or uh, to me, they're it does not, they're scary it does not match. It doesn't matter in the whole they in the great scheme of things. It does not matter. matter. True. Whether they could have been scary, could they be scary? Definitely. Probably, but if yeah. something like that ever came at you in real life, you'd run away screaming. <laughs> um, Probably poop your pants too. But you know, three so, times. Yeah. And piss them at the same time. So the movie works. The <laughs> the story is there. The cast. Cast is great. It's so important. I from, can't, from Chinese Speaking to the of, Westerners. Uh, in our last review, we talked about stunt crew. Uh, I heard people online talking about how they should also introduce into the Oscars category uh, casting directors. Or even ensemble cast Oscars. And I'm for both. I'm all for both because this movie deserves an award for something and. It's probably not way, the best. Way things work now. It's I wouldn't not give it the best him. movie award, but no. you know, best something I'd give it to. I this might not be the best movie you see this year. This it's, probably is not gonna be the best movie you see this year. But at the end of the year, if somebody asks you, "Are you gonna watch this again?" You're probably gonna say yes. Definitely. 
Unless you're stupid. <laughs> or don't like Chinese movies for some reason. Um, or don't like to watch movies with subtitles. Oh. The way Americans don't. Or if you're a 20-year-old millennial. <laughs> liberal millennial. Then you're definitely not gonna watch this. Hey, dude, don't call them racist, dude. That's racist. I didn't call them racist. I just told them they're not gonna watch this movie because they're 20-year-old <laughs> liberal millennials. They got, like, shops to raid or something. I don't know. <laughs> they don't got time to watch movies. Maybe, but... You wanna raid this one? We're getting out of hand. Um, you know what? My initial thought was uh, I was gonna give it 20 out of 30. But, but he gave John Wick 20, so how can he give them the same score? I cannot give this one the same score. I cannot, because we saw them one after the other. Yeah. And I enjoyed this one a whole lot more than I did. Uh, would would I would it be the other way around? Have we seen Grey Wolf first and then John? Maybe, maybe not. I don't know, but you know what? I'm gonna give this one 23 out of 30. I liked it that much more. You liked it that much? I liked it that much. I like John Wick better. And but this one still gets this one still gets a solid 22. 22? <laughs> okay, so you didn't like John Wick that much more. I did, but I can't give John Wick 27. <laughs> no way, man. I, that's what I'm saying. I gave John Wick 23. I'm not gonna give this one 23. 22 because I did like John Wick better. But this, in no way it takes uh, takes anything away from this movie. You, and you can com completely. I'm probably gonna anyway. rewatch them both all over again, and then a few and times after yeah. that as well. Yeah. Overall, great start to the year movie-wise, and it's only gonna get better. March, uh, March, March is around is, the corner. March, March is knocking at that door, man. And March is full of good movies that most people are gonna like. And yeah, that concludes our reviews of uh, the for Grey Wall. Yeah. And uh, reviews of this week? Um, yes, because there's only two days left in a week, so we're not gonna review any more movies. And we're probably not gonna review anything till Logan comes out. Possible. We have a video ready for you next week. We're gonna be doing the our uh, top ten Disney animated movies. movies. Yeah. So of all time. Yes. Ever. Yeah. Disney movies. Animated movies, Disney animated movies. When it comes to Disney, not movies. Pixar, not DreamWorks, Disney, Disney. So look out for that. Until then, you can uh, subscribe, like, subscribe. You know the shtick. And, and uh, see you next time. Follow us on social media too. And uh, this is gonna be Bash Bros out.